Hey Virgo, this is Nikki. Happy Thursday to you all. I hope that you all have a great day. I hope that this week has fared you well. Sorry I haven't been on. I've just been had a lot going on. You all just have to take a break. I wasn't really, I was really tired. Not that I wasn't feeling well. I was tired. Then I found out yesterday that, that my ex passed away. Um, his, his sister told me his heart just simply stopped. He didn't show up for work two days and um, they found him his house is in his home dish. She pretty much said that his heart stopped and they're just ruling it natural causes, you all. And he was the most sweetest, most gentle person. I call him gentle giant. I call him my teddy bear. Um, his name was Frank and um, he meant the world to me, you all. We never he never had a bad word to say to me, he always treated me with the res with the utmost respect. He always referred to me as his lady when we were together, you all. And um, we, sh we shared some good moments. We just drifted apart. It's not that I didn't love him, you all, but we just drifted apart. But we stayed cordial with each other. Uh, his birthday was December the 6th. I sent him a message and um, said happy birthday to him. You know, he sent me, he always called me babe. <laughs> so I liked about him. He called me babe. Um, I sent him a, a birthday wish, a birthday greeting, you know, on his birthday. First thing I did that morning when I got up um, and just, you know, um, wished him a happy birthday. I said, um, I, I, like I said, happy birthday. He sent the text message back. Well, thank you, babe. Good morning. And may you have a blessed day as well. You know, um, so he said, thank you, babe. But anyway, you all. Yeah, he was just the, the most kindest, sweetest. Any, this this is the kind of man you are that you at, that you want to introduce to your family. You know, he introduced me to his family. He was even though I'm 49, he was the first man that actually asked me to go out of town with him, took me out of town and greeted me, you know, took me around his family and included me in his family. You all made me feel like I was a part of his world. You know, and that's one thing that I appreciate about it. And you know how we, you know, with tarot and what it is that you that you do, you know, listen to tarot, whether you do tarot, you really do realize what a, what it feels like to be really loved. That, that man taught me how to love, how to be loved, how to accept love and understand, you know, though we broke up, you know, it was kind of like a mutual decision, you all, but it was more so like, wow, now I know what it is to feel like a good man. So it's like he set me up for the person I'm going to marry. I know what I want and I know what I don't want. And he, he kind of taught me how to love better, how to love myself better, you know, how to accept love from others, you know what it feels like to be in a, to be with a good, wholesome man. You know, that's what he, you know, that's what he, and I hope he, you know, rest in peace. And, you know, <sighs> anyway, let's get started on your reading. Okay. Let's get us a message for the Virgo spirit. Um, what do you all need to know? What's going on in your energy field? Message for the beautiful earthly Virgos. If you're new to the channel, welcome aboard. The Page of Wands. The Ace of Wands. This is some action, you know, toward you, or maybe you need to uh make some action steps to do something take action maybe getting recognized for something when you do this you know maybe spirit is giving you some ideas some things that maybe this i'm hearing chores spirit is giving you some chores some chores to do we got hangman it's like you're stuck here okay stuck in a situation stuck on your journey maybe not sure exactly what it is that you're needing or wanting to do in your life it's like you're getting handed. Spirit is telling you, look, you want to, it's like you want to do something, but no, 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 you can do better. Okay. You want to just make one step here, but no, you can take a, a giant leap. You don't have to just stop right there. Keep going. All right. Got the high priestess. Movement. We got a lot of action here. Moving on chariot. You know, this is, is, is that I want to move. I want to do something, but I'm not exactly sure how to do it or how to pursue this or, but you know, spirit is telling you just take charge and move. You know, it's, 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 it's all about movement for you. Maybe you've been stagnant a lot. You haven't been able to make a decision about something, but now you have the energy and the action and the know-how I'm hearing and the ambition and motivation to move forward here. You know, you're taking challenges and moving forward and like, like i said taking giant steps here you've been inspired there's some sort of uh motivating joke that came to you like a spark or something you know and it's fast it's like wow 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 okay really really wow for you virgo 
but I don't know. Right now you're holding on. And, and I kind of feel like spirit wants you to not to think about relationships at the moment. Let that rest because there are other areas of your life that are a little bit more important than relationships right now. You know, maybe you separated or discorporated yourself from a relationship. And that's a good thing, you know, because this is really, really opening you up to pursue other junctures, other areas of your life. It's like, I, I want to move forward. And you know that you want to move forward too. And, you're, and your mind is telling you, I'm tired of tired of the hangups. I'm tired of things being held up. But honestly, it's not about that. It's not about what's being held up. It, it's, it, it's, blah, it's what about what is coming your way, what it is, Virgo, that you need to do, what you need to pursue. There are so many opportunities out here you're just not going to stop at one place you want to keep going and going and going you know there are so many other forces coming together working together for you to get this new opportunity this new jolt i'm hearing jolt of excitement for some of you too um moving uh, somebody here possibly could be moving relocating uh, to a different place but this is a different place in your life too the next half of your life has already begun for you. Okay. It's like, people are going to be so happy for you. Even your haters, they may be a little happy for you too, Virgo. Like, wow. Well, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. I can see you doing it. Kind of like I keep on referencing movies at the end of, um, um, <laughs> an officer and a gentleman, an officer and a gentleman. If you saw the movie, you know, the girl's best friend, she didn't want to marry the guy who got her pregnant in the movie. Um, and she said, well, he, he asked her to marry her because she was pregnant. And she said, well, no, I don't want to marry you. I could have an old okie doke right here or something like that. She wanted to marry a Navy man or whatever. She felt that he wasn't going anywhere because he quit the, the Navy or whatever. He wanted to pursue a relationship with her because he really didn't want the Navy for himself. His family wanted him to be in the Navy. Anyway, so at the end of the movie, when Richard Gere came in with Deborah Ringer, Ringer he picked her up and everything. And um, the girl was like, no, nah, she she was saw how he picked her up. And, you know, and they she kissed him. He took she took the half of his head and put it on hers. And everybody started applauding at the end of the movie. Even that her bitch ass friend had to applaud like, go, Paula, go, Paula. Yeah, bitch, you fucked it up. OK, you know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, sometimes, you know, even your even the people who hate you, like, yeah, Virgo didn't did that shit. Let's give them their motherfucking props. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, even your your the people who really hate hate you for what you do, who hate you in general, they're still gonna dig the shit out of you. They're still gonna be happy for you because hell, why not? They couldn't do it. They had the opportunity. Okay. The Queen of Cups. So this is something something that you have been focused on. Um, yeah, hold on. That you're going to be that you focused on for a long, long time, and this is something that you've been doing, but you've just been sitting there. You haven't been doing it. You haven't been pursuing it. Okay. I'm also hearing that song at the end, "Love Lift Us Up Where We Belong." So maybe I'm going to put that song so you all can listen to. Yeah, somebody's focused on love too much right now. Okay. And who knows, love could be coming for you, but don't focus on it. Allow it. Allow it to come. All right. Allow it to come. Ooh, what did I just say? Yeah, love that's up where we belong. <laughs> yeah, we are. Uh, yeah, so we do got some love coming for you. Okay, marriage. Whew. I just feel some. I just felt something. We got marriage coming for you. Um, and this deck I still had on my. I had on my desk from the other day. I did a reading and I picked. I was thinking about my ex who just passed. And this card, this message was at the bottom of the deck. You're not alone. So I'm, I'm kind of like feeling his energy, if that makes sense, you know. Um, but also, yeah, um, yep, he's around. But anyway, yeah, love. We've got love coming your way right now. It's on hold and you're focused on that. And Spirit is saying, don't worry about love right now. Focus on something else. Focus on movement forward in your life in general. And love is going to be there. Love will be right here. Wait a minute. Oh, well, hold on. Love will be waiting. Okay. Love will be waiting for you, Virgo, when you get to your next journey. Okay. Love, um, I keep talking about waiting to exhale. I'm hearing that song. Love will be waiting for you. I'll put that song in the comments as well. Okay. But yeah, Virgo, you're definitely uh, being asked to keep on moving. Don't stop. Don't give up. All right. Don't give on. Don't give up on yourself, which that's the most important thing. Spirit does not want you to give up on yourself. But listen, spirit is not going to force you either. OK, we have here this king of wands that's telling you that you're the leader here. OK, the leader of your own life, the leader of your own journey here. 
Okay. Uh, you're building that foundation in that structure. That's what you want in your life. Okay. It's time for you to realize like, wow, I got this. You got that fire. You got that heat element. Virgo, though, some of you may have uh, a fire sign in your chart, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, but at the same time, you're definitely moving up in this world and you're changing a lot of things too. Favorite color also, well, favorite color could be green. Oh, we got the king and the queen of wands. So you're not going to be alone long, okay? You got the king and the queen, male or female, take it how it resonates with you. But this is some fast, you're going to meet this person pretty pretty relative, pretty quick, okay? Relatively quick. Uh, some of you all are going to fall into a relationship, okay? You're going to meet your equal, like really, really, really soon, actually. Um... I'm hearing that 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 song from uh, Waiting to Excel. Love will be right here waiting for you. Yeah, because we got the lovers. OK, and you got to understand you got to keep on living your life. And it's like as soon as you stop thinking about a man or a woman, that's when they're going to show up in your life. Virgo. OK, that's when this this person's going to show up and say, you know what? My name is Earthly Virgo. What is your name? OK, wow. Let me tell you all something today. <laughs> I got off work early because it's snowing outside. But this painter, he came in and I hadn't seen him in about a year since he came to paint another unit. And he came in, he looked at me. I see, he, said, he came in and got the, because we got these little key cards that we give to the people when they come in the building, the vendors and stuff so they can get in and out of the building. So he looked at me. He said, oh, hey, how you doing? I haven't seen you in a while. I said, hey, how you doing? I'm like, oh, and I remember like, oh, that's that dude who, he, who oh, that man is fine. He had a beard too. I'm like, I said, oh, I said, you know, you got something different. You got a beard. He said, yeah, I got a beard. I got a beard. You know, that kind of stuff. Damn. I left early. I forgot. I was going to show ask him if he was married, but oh, that man was fine. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think he was, I think he was, um, I hate to use the phrase Puerto Rican, but that man is fine. Oof. I should, I'm going to text my boss. Is he still alive? <laughs> that man was fine. Ooh. We have Star Key for co Cosmic Ancestor Seed the Light by Staying Grounded. Yeah, stay grounded, Virgo. Okay. Stay grounded in your life. This is way too many, so I'm going to put them back. Your Cosmic Ancestors. Um, I don't know. Somebody here is named after a star. Maybe you have your name on the star's registry or something. Maybe that's something you wanted to do. Definitely into astronomy. Trust the timing. Trust the wave you came in on. Time is not running out, okay? Time is not running out for you. You still have a lot of lessons to learn. And that's why I said earlier about that relationship that I was in with, with my ex, Frank. You know, um, we stayed cordial with each other and everything and sweet as pie, you know, but he taught me so much about relationships. You know, he taught me that there are good men out there. There are good women out there, you know, who will treat you right and who will honor you as being the person who you are. You no, know, no man who I'd ever been with in my entire adult life introduced me that he they would say that's my gal or that's my woman. Nobody ever introduced me as, as that's that's my lady. You know what I'm saying? It was just the way he did it, the way he said it. he was so gentle, you all. So time to trust the time. Your timing is not running out on your love life. You still have a lot of ways to go, a lot of opportunities for you out there, other things for you to focus on than a relationship right now, okay? Stay focused. We got perspective. None of this matters. Zoom out and find common ground. You got a lot of things in your life, a lot of darkness, a lot of things that have happened. You gotta let it go. Your soul remembers the things that you have been through, the things that you have experienced. Now it's your journey in this lifetime is to learn these repeated steps. I'm hearing these repeated obstacles that have taken place in your life and move and learn and move away from them. So plan the faded life versus the destiny life. Where are you headed in your life, Virgo? To a coming ground to happiness, to not have to worry about anything. I'm hearing stop worrying so much about money. I know that's inevitable. That's what that's that's what life is all about, pretty much right now. You know, things are going up, things are getting much more expensive, you know. But find a way to not think about it so much, if that makes sense. What else should Virgo be focusing on right now? 
beginning a fresh start. Be blah. I'm sorry, beginning and fresh start. That's what you're focusing on right now because so many different things have been changing in your life. You may have had to let some things go, let some people go beginning again because you lost something. But this is the opportunity for you to say, you know what? I got this. And Spirit say, don't worry about this. Achievement and success, you're going to get that regardless. And listen, I'm hearing you're going to get you're going to get achievement and success before that man or before that woman comes into your life. You're going to already have achievement and success. All right. Already, already, already. Moving on and escaping a situation that you're in, you're letting things go that no longer serves you. And, and that's another thing you all that he taught me was letting go. Of what no longer serves you. I let the relationship with him go, not because I didn't love him. I loved him with all my heart, but he was never able to tell me that he loved me. So I had to let that go. And I told him, I hope this, that God brings you somebody, bring somebody into your life who you can be open enough to tell her that you love her. You know, he made the comment, you know, he just didn't know that that word scared him or something like that. So I had to let it go. Not that I didn't love him, but I had to love, my, love myself enough to say, you know what, I'm going to let him go peacefully. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes you got to let go of something, Virgo, even though you may love it and care for it dearly, you got to let it go for your benefit, you know, for your benefit. Because if it's, it's like, who are you serving? Not them, not yourself. If you're not getting what you need to be fulfilled in what area, area, area that you decide to leave behind. Okay. Not just love. Okay, Virgo. See, new inspiration. I said something earlier about you being new and uh, newly inspired to do something in your life. And this is it. This is spirit is, is saying, I'm giving you these uh, these elements. I'm getting getting you these things that are happening to you. I may take some things away from you, but when I take that away, I'm going to give you something 10 times better. OK, somebody has some issues with legal matters, making sure you're dealing with that. Prepare for a change coming your way, Virgo. There's, like I said, there's some huge changes. I'm hearing some blockages, but you got to clear those blockages out. Um, something about the blockages, though, that are in your way. That's This is an opportunity. You've already learned so much. So you're not going to hold on to these blockages too much longer because you're going to know how to surmount them based on your experience through life. The things that you have learned definitely through watching tarot readings, through your experience in relationships, Toxic people, toxic relate, to toxic jobs, or living arrangements, or whatever. You're able to let that stuff go more, um, more quickly than you would have in the past. More quickly than ten, five or ten years ago, when you held on to a fucked up ass dude who was treating you like shit for the long haul. I think he gonna change, and I think she gonna be a better woman. Nope, drop that, drop that zero. Okay, quickly. Okay, because you already know that it's not going anywhere can't change it. You can't change something. You can't save somebody who doesn't want to be saved. It's all about learning. It's all about putting yourself out there in such a better light for yourself so other people can see it. But more so, it's about not putting up with stuff you know you don't like. You know this person's not going to change. They're not going to get their shit together. The job's not going to change. These fucked up ass people I work with, they're not going to change. So why not find something else? Why, why why keep wasting your time? Why keep staying stuck where you're so uncomfortable? Too uncomfortable. Let it go. Okay. Answer the call. What is your soul calling you to do, Virgo? What, what is your call? What is your soul causing you to do? And I have trust the niggle. What is this niggling feeling trying to tell you? What is this niggling feeling try, trying to tell you, Virgo? It's time to move on. I mean, you're making better choices, period. I'm hearing you're making better choices concurrently. That means every Virgo who's watching this reading has learned from their mistakes. You've learned from these toxic patterns, these uncomfortable people and situations that we've been in. We drop them. We don't keep on dealing with this shit. Bye, bye, bye. Move on. Okay. And you've learned so much for, from what you've been through. And from every area of your life, it's like spirit is saying, wow, you finally get, you finally hit the nail on the head. You get this. You get what life is all about. Bravo. Okay. This is too many. Virgo, Virgo. Let's get a final message. I don't want to keep you all. And we have her setting your boundaries, Virgo. Where do you need to establish better boundaries? Why do you need to set better, better boundaries in your life? Because you're letting some people go like, nope, enough is enough. I am done. And you really are. And when you say you're done, you're done. You're not looking back. Why should you? Because you made that decision based on what? What you've been through before in the past. And you don't want to keep on repeating the same patterns. Yeah, yes. Just say yes. 
Say yes to life. Say yes to, yes to whatever it is you need to say yes to. Okay. And release what you don't. Play. Have fun. Celebrate. And don't be so serious, Virgo. Don't be so serious. Go out and play and have a good time. All right. I hope this message resonates. And thank you all for hearing me out about my ex who passed away. I really appreciate you all for your listening ear and, you know, just for just being there for me when I really need you. And oh, I forgot to mention, um, Azalea Cafe, she has um, a jewelry site. I put that information over on the community community section. I have some some of her jewelry posted. But if you click the link in the message that I put out there, you can go go directly to her page and see what jewelry she has to offer. She really does a good job with these intricate pieces that she put together. Okay. Thank you so much. And she also is a fellow Virgo. Talk to you later.